Hi Revolution Golfers, Andrew Rice here at Berkeley Hall. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about something that used to be very near and dear to my heart and that is divots. So many golfers have heard for so long that they need to hit down on the golf ball. That information is partially true but I don't believe we need to hit down on the golf ball to the point that we start to take big gouging divots out of the turf. I've found that most golfers using TrackMan tend to hit down too much and I see these big divots flying out everywhere and people are under the impression that if you can hit the ball first and the ground second and take a nice size divot that you're really compressing the golf ball. That is not necessarily the case and we're going to look at that today. I'm going to give you some information to help you improve the crispness of your strike perhaps get a little bit more yardage out of each club that you're hitting and set your mind at ease when it comes to the fact that well I hit a nice shot but I didn't take a divot that's okay if I look at Jack Nicklaus, Greg Norman, Tom Watson three fantastic golfers, three great ball strikers they really didn't ever take much in the way of a divot certainly they had occasions where they took divots and turf condition does certainly play a role in how much turf we take after we strike the golf ball. But I would like for us to strive towards a very shallow strike, one where the club is actually just going to disturb the grass, it's just going to bruise the grass, but not necessarily take out this big beaver pelt of a divot after the golf ball. So how are we going to do that? One of my favorite little drills is what I call the impact drag drill. And essentially what I like for people to do is get themselves set up to the ball as you see here and then without moving your body off of the ball I would like for you to put the club on the ground about as far back as you can reach just put it on the ground and I want you from there to drag it up and over the top of the ball you'll notice on your first couple of goes you'll most probably clip the ball I want this club to pass over the top of the golf ball and if I stop as I get to impact you'll notice my upper body is tilted back my hips my midsection are forward exactly where we want to be at impact and we know that this club head must be traveling slightly up do I want you to hit up on an iron shot definitely not I just want you to hit less down on the golf ball so how do we transition that drill that impact drag drill into a shot first thing I'd like you to do Yes, and all I've got is I've got a seven iron here. Uh, you can put the ball on a tee or play it off the ground. Give yourself a nice preferred lie. But I want you to hit some shots where you're going to try to feel like we go from almost from low to high. A sense that the club head's going to be traveling up. Okay, if you hit some top shots or some poor shots here, that's okay. I just want some little swings going low to high. Definitely we're not going to take any divots here. This club is really going to be skimming along the surface of the ground. Now from there we're going to go more into a fuller type golf shot. So let's give it a go. Feeling that low to high sense and I want to sense the club skimming along the ground. Believe it or not, if you can continue to de-loft or deliver the same amount of loft at impact and shallow out your angle of attack, you're going to increase the compression into the back of the golf ball. So let's give this one a go. That feel, low to high, same setup, and I really want to feel like I'm going to work from low to high, skimming that club underneath the golf ball. And you can see that, that really felt nice. A nice, high, crisp seven iron shot with that club skimming along the ground. No divot to speak of. Our objective is great golf shots, great ball striking, we don't necessarily have to start taking divots after the ball to know that we're hitting it well. Give that a try. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.